Все чисто. А мне все сито. Ты right, lad? Are you both all right? It's happening. Let's lock and load, bruv. What's up, the Seven Seas? Welcome back to another Loki Games video. Back with something different this time, blad. A week or so ago, if you follow me on Snapchat, if you don't, link in the description why you done it, yeah? I got a package that was sent to me by Virtual Core USA. I had to wait a little bit because they had to send me some adapters for the Oculus Tox controllers. Anyway, it's now a wrap! Now, this isn't a sponsored video, but Virtual Core USA did send me this to review, and I must say, mate, it may look a bit like a crutch. Alright. <laughs> Actually, it probably worked pretty well as a crutch. But if you're into Onward, or Hot Dogs, Horseshoes and Hand Grenades, or Pavlov, or any of those virtual reality shooters, you won't go back after using this. I've tried it for the last day or so, and ah, oh, ah, oh, the immersion. You think you can't get more immersed than Oculus controllers and a virtual reality headset? Think again, bruv. Now this is for the Vive and for the Oculus. Link in the description if you want to go pick one up for yourself. You may think this looks a bit confusing with all the connectors and stuff. It's pretty simple to do once you get used to it. I must say, I had a little bit of trouble because it's me putting the connectors on. I kept putting them on back to front. But that's just because I didn't test it beforehand because I was a bit excited. So you've got these three main things here. I won't change it because I've got it in the perfect position at the moment. This one here and this one here. You can loosen these and change it. So obviously with different rifles. You're gonna have different lengths of where you need to put your hands. These things here, which actually fit the controllers in very nicely, I must say. You can also turn those back and forward and put them up and down. This is obviously for the raffles and the SMGs and whatnot, where you need two hands to hold it. Obviously, you're not gonna have it with just a pistol, even though well, you could, I suppose. <laughs> so that's like you can edit this, edit where your controllers are. I've done, it's taken about five or ten minutes in the actual game. To see that the rifle I usually use to check that it's in the rat spots, you know? So that's like, it's even got a rail on the bottom. I'm not sure what this is for. I don't know what that's for, but there's a rail on it. Maybe for a flashlight. <laughs> Or a laser sight, I don't know. On this end, it's got this strap. Now, I thought, oh, why am I going to use this strap? I didn't think I was going to have to use it. But when you're in, like, Pavlov or Onward, you'll soon realise why you need this. <laughs> Obviously, adjustable, and I'm wearing a, a stupid creased padded hoodie at the moment, so it's not going to fit properly. So this is how you have it. You have it just like this. Look, look at this, man. Let me comb down the cam so you can see this. Now, I must say, I look pretty cool with it on. Actually, I look like I've just come out of car crash surgery. <laughs> I'm ready to learn how to walk again. Obviously, in games like Onward, you don't always have the rifle in your hand. Sometimes you want to drop the rifle, get out your sidearm, maybe get a grenade, maybe get on the walkie-talkie with the knife. So it'll be a bit of a pain in the ass if you haven't got the sling to put it down every time and then search on virtual reality for your stuff and then try and pick it back up again. There have been plenty of times when I was testing where I was like shooting about and stuff and then I had to reload. I just dropped this, quickly got my handgun. Yeah, maybe a grenade. So it's good that slings there, right? You're probably, you're going to need the sling. 90% of you will. There'll be the 10% that will just be like, ah, I ain't going to use the sling, mate. I'll just throw it. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Hey, Ben, okay, what if I've got this, like this, and I'm shooting? Then I need to switch to my sidearm, so I drop it like that, get the sidearm, do, 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 do. Am I going to be able to quickly get back into that position with the rifle so I can reload. Now I thought, being in virtual reality, I'm gonna be like fondling to get these in, but within about five minutes you learn where they are. And look, I, look, I won't look, I won't look, look. One, two, bam, just like that, they're back in. See that? You see that? So you won't be fumbling around in virtual reality trying to get these things back in. They're very easily slotted in. I did have to take the wrist straps out. You probably can get them with the wrist straps in as well, but it's just easier without them, you know? Plus, you'll start getting them tangled around the thing. <laughs> now, something I haven't talked about, man. You got this on the side, you got a little shoulder rest. Now, this is what gives it the most immersion, I think, is this shoulder rest. And it's even got, you see how this is kind of lined up? The control is kind of lined up with this. When you've got scopes in VR, you can now actually rest your chin, so you're not all over the joint, you know? <laughs> Wobbling your controllers like you normally are trying to look through the scope. You can actually rest your chin on this. Look at this. Look at this. I feel like an operator right now. America. It's, it's so... you should see... wait till you see the accuracy. Now, there's probably a few of you that are going, Hey, Ben, why do you... 
if you need that, this seems like a lot of trouble just for a, a VR FPS game. But if you ever played a game like Onward or anything like that, uh, you'll know that it's kind of difficult. It's not too bad with the scope smoothing and stuff they've got, but when you're in virtual reality and you've got an assault rifle, right, and you're grabbing the barrel with this one and the trigger and that with this one, there's nothing between your hands, so you have to constantly try and keep judge distance your hands have to be to be able to look through it and shit like that. It's a lot of trouble to keep straight, but with this, when you're in there, it, it adds so much immersion because you actually feel like you've got a rifle in real life. You can, you can feel it, you know, you can push your chest up against this. Yeah. When you need to reload, you just pull this hand out, get the magazine out, slap another one in, bam, strip back at it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, enough of this talking. If you want one of these for yourself, link in the description. Thank you very much to Virtual Call USA for sending me one of these. Let's try this out in Armwood, shall we? Leg it. And we're in, yo. Now, you may notice a difference in this one. I actually watched a tutorial on how to record through the right eye. See that? That's my right eye. For people that didn't know, normally when you record Oculus or Vive gameplay, it normally records through the left eye, which is why I always have to go, let me try and shoot through the left eye for you. Now, you're actually seeing exactly what I see down the sights, and I should be better at aiming. If you want to see this tutorial for yourself, if you go to my liked videos on my actual channel, it's top of the list on my liked videos. Anyway, let's probably piss off our teammates again. Ah <laughs> oh, shit, I chose the wrong team. Yo, you ready to kill these vat doors? Yo, what's up? Hey, hey Glingo. How are you? You want, you want a hug? Oh, Glingo! What up? Hey Glingo! Hey Glingo! Glingo! Oh man! Hey, 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 oh shit! Hey, hey, hey. Oh dude! Hey, hey. Oh man, you ready to kick ass? Oh yeah, man! Yeah. Oh, 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 hey, shit. oh you yeah. a gangster, man! I'm a fucking gangster! <laughs> yeah, you look cool! Let's do this! Oh yeah, I feel cool! I'm coming with you, Holmes! Oh man, this feels cool! <laughs> the proper badass! Oh shit! Homies! Are you having problems there? <laughs> Rolling up. Oh shit! Yo, you a key, Glingo? Glingo! Glingo's. Glingo's there! Ah, fuck! <laughs> Get the shit out of me! Motherfucker! <laughs> I'm about to fucking blow the shit off this roof! <laughs> yeah, you tell him, man! Come on, low key! Uh, I can't remember where I put my gun. You, you put it in your pants, man. I, I got a shotgun this time, y'all. Oh, oh, Irish yeah. jig, man. <laughs> yeah. Check this out. Check this shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> let's, let's, let's do some crazy shit right here. Oh, man. Look at this, man. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, what's happened to you? You're a dwarf, is it? Man, I got the wrong gun for this occasion. Oh, no, you got shot in the face. Yo, is this Glingo okay? Glingo, you okay? Hey. I can't see! <laughs> Flashbang went off in my face! As you could probably see from the scenes before that, my internet is not the best today. I think it's the wrong time to be doing this. Plus, I can't focus on showing you all about this little device here. So, I'll just go on some solo mode, just so it's nice and smooth, and so I can get you some good footage of how this thing rolls. In the war on terror, y'all! Right, so this is the gun I normally go with. It's the 552 Commando, and I'll set this thing up perfect for this puppy right here. Let's go with 16 Glingles, why not? I can show you live now how this is easily put together. You just grab your gun, like that, go down, put it in, click that one, bang, in. Just like that. That's perfectly lined up. It just feels, it feels so immersive. Rest my cheek on this, look down the scope. Now, if you've only got two sensors for your Oculus, there may be some issues with tracking on the hands. Maybe the stock, or maybe the side of it, I don't know. But now and again, in certain directions, it does wobble a little bit. If it's so good to be able to do that, to reload, you just release your grip, pull that out, have a little look, slam it back in, back on, just like that. Let's do this. It feels so... <laughs> I can't get over how immersive it feels now. You've actually got a gun. You can let go, give it a cock. Do this, let's kill some gringos. Let's try and do a speed run of this. Kill some missies. I can use some. Look at these blokes. Oh, the pain in the ass with this one is that the bots can see through the hedges. <laughs> I forgot about that. I'm around the corner. See what happens. That happened. So did that. Oh, mate! Come out, yo. Look how quick that is. Look how quick that is. Oh. Are oh, you running, boy? You running? Let's go. Let's do this. Shot me in the face. Where's he at? That's it. Grenade time, boy. Grenade time. It's happening. Take that. Piece of shit. Yeah, you go down now. 
You go down, boy. Take that out quick. Cut that shit. Oh, we, oh, mate! Kill them all! Run away! <laughs> Come around that corner, see what happens, mate. Oh, I've still got some in there. All right. Come around that corner, lad. <laughs> right in your temple. Here he comes. I'm here, Chisita. Are you alright, lad? Are you both alright? No, you ain't. You need healing, boys. Too bad. Sunshine. Are they bringing reinforcements or what? What's that noise? Look at these guys. How many we got left? Oh, we still got seven. Hey, put that back. Right, I'm taking out two with this gun right here. I'm taking out the others with my knife. I'm gonna take a laugh with a knife. It's so good that I can rest my cheek up without. Rest of my cheek, it's kind of like, even with this thing, it's a bit wobbly if you if you got a really weak neck. <laughs> but resting that cheek, oh look at that. Look how smooth that is, man. Oh, I can get anyone with this. Twist a single shot. Oh, it's that guy that's got all the body armor on. I need ammo. Just walking around with this out. <laughs> I hate that lingo, man. He's got too much armor on. It's like a sponge. Damn bullet sponge. Ammo. Just what I need. Here we go. <laughs> oh. He's down. <laughs> Mate, you walked out at the wrong time there, lad. Glingos! <laughs> Was that Glingo with all the armor? <laughs> Holy shit, there's loads of them there. I want to take their lives with knives. What? Hello! <laughs> it's happening, it's happening. Who else wants some? Sorry, I had to do that to you, boy. Uh, what you get for coming in my house? <laughs> Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Switch the single shot. Going upstairs. I just heard one being weird. I just heard one being Russian around here. Yeah, that's the armor lap. Oh shit! Oh. <laughs> Mate, where do you come from? In the head, full of lead. Oh, I did it! I oh, did it, mate! <laughs> Boy. So there we go. I know it's hard if you've maybe not been in virtual reality yet, or if you have, and you don't think this will make much difference, but it really does. If you want to be pro at this game and you want to feel more immersed, get one of these puppies. This is definitely going to be in every one of my videos that I do on Onward now. By the way, if you want to see more Onward, let me know below. Make sure to follow me on all these socks I still have you yet. Check down there if you want to help support me on Patreon. Check the bell below to get notifications. All my latest videos. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.